This holy man fought to the death for the law of his God and did not fear the words of godless, for he was built in a solid rock. Today is a memorial of Pope John I, martyr and Pope of our church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who reward faithful souls, and who have consecrated this day by the martyrdom of Pope St. John I, graciously hear the prayers of your people, and grant that we, who venerate his merits, may imitate his constancy in the faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus, Paul had the presbyters of the church at Ephesus summoned. When they came to him, he addressed them. You know how I lived among you the whole time from the day I first came to the province of Asia. I served the Lord with all humility and with the tears and trials that came to me because of the plots of the Jews. And I did not at all shrink from telling you what was for your benefit, or from teaching you in public or in your homes. I earnestly bore witness for both Jews and Greeks to repent before God and to faith in our Lord Jesus. But now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. What will happen to me there, I do not know, except that in one city after another, the Holy Spirit has been warning me that imprisonment and hardships await me. Yet I consider life of no importance to me, if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to bear witness to the gospel of God's grace. But now I know that none of you to whom I preached the kingdom during my travels will ever see my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you showered down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restored the land when it languished. Your flock settled in it, in your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed day by day be the Lord, who bears our burdens, God, who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us. The Lord, my Lord, controls the passageways of death. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth.
Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all who gave him. Now this is the eternal life, that, the, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I reveal your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them, and they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the marks of Jesus' leadership is solitude and prayer. There are lots of instances in our gospel that we would realize seeing Jesus trying to seek places of solitude. And think this is one of the things that he don't only do, but he also teaches his disciples. In our gospel today, it's a very, what we call, unique instance in the life of Christ that he is trying to not just simply pray, but reveal something about him and his Father. We know for sure that after the ascension of Jesus, there is one thing that he needs to bring forth to his disciples. He still thinks about them and everything that he did and he has given to all his disciples. That is why one of the marks of true leadership in Jesus is his solitude that would lead up to what we call continuity. And then even though his disciples have never seen him in the physical sense, their prayers of solitude their recalling of what the Lord Jesus Christ has told them would gradually unfold and become the very presence of Christ himself. Continuity means also connection. The unending connection of Jesus to his disciples and Jesus himself connected to his disciples as well, even until the end of time. This kind of disposition is also the same thing when we are all gathering together in the name of Jesus. As disciples of Christ, we are given this gift. Each day, we are called to renew this connection between us and Jesus as well. We continue to seek opportunities for us to have this solitude 
to remain connected in Jesus, that even though in our own naked eyes we may not see him, but his teachings, his presence, his words remain with us even to the end of time. Christ our Lord predicted his saving death and resurrection. Through him, the suffering servant, let us bring our petitions to the Father of all mercies. <clears throat> that the leaders of the church may show us a clear vision of patient endurance in the turmoil of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. That the nations may know the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom he has sent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may work and pray for the unity of all who bear the name of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may unite their sufferings with those of Jesus on the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who have gone before us in this life may receive the eternal reward promised to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For John Baptiste Du, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Father, you glorified your Son. In him we will be glorified. Welcome our prayers because we belong to you. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the divine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, may the brethren may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, with such serenity and kindness, we pray, O Lord. Upon these present offerings that they may be filled with the blessing of the Holy Spirit and sear in our hearts this powerful love to reach your holy martyr, John the First, overcome with bodily torment to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours to Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And with all the hosts of angels cry out without end as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks and broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him <clears throat> and with him in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, I'll be thy name.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distrust as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Friends, we offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
You go to the sick and the homebound, taking not only the sacrament we have celebrated, but also the word of God which we have heard, as well as the affection of the parish community, as well as the prayers of those whom you have visited in return. Go now with God's peace and blessing. Let us now pray the fifth day in the Vina to the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Come, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, and God us throughout the Diocese of Richmond as we embark on our third century in your service. We humbly ask you to strengthen our trust in you and our eagerness to share the gospel message with others. Enkindle in us a keen desire to grow in our relationship with you and to encounter you in your sacraments. To the intercession of Mary, star of the new evangelization, and St. Vincent de Paul, we may experience a new Pentecost and a profound renewal of faith in our diocese, our parishes, our families, and our hearts. Amen. O oh God, thank you for the gift of knowledge, which enables the soul to evaluate created things at their true worth in their relation to God. Lord, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of your faithful, grant that by that same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, what, what do you want, want of, me of me today? Give me eyes that can see, ears that can hear, and a heart that can love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. Hail, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, Lord is with you. Blessed, blessed are you among women, and, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now, now and in the hour of our death. death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Renewed by the sustenance of one bread, O Lord, on this commemoration of your blessed martyr, John the First. We humbly pray that you may confirm us ever in your charity and make us walk in the newness of life. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Holy Mass has been offered with a go in the peace and love of Christ. <laughs> 